Well, I am into Ada. Serves up wood-fired food featuring seasonal dishes from pizza to focaccia and crispy salads. Joining us now in our Studio 41 kitchen with a taste of its menu is executive chef Jake Peterson. Thank you for coming in, chef. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we are going to be making some Japanese sweet potatoes. That's right. What makes some Japanese sweet potatoes? Um, they come well, from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just just, kidding. Yeah, it's just the variety. So what we have there, obviously, they're a little bit smaller. They're small. Okay. Yes. Okay. So at Edda, what we try to do is use as many local farms as we can when it allows us to. Yeah. So right now we're getting these baby Japanese sweet potatoes from Nichols Farm. Cool. Ah. And they're delicious. They're a little bit. I mean, I think they're a little bit sweeter. Mm. Uh, the skin when you cook them correctly and you and you can crisp up the skin. Oh, so are to... you eating the skin? Yes. With these, oh, fiber, right? Okay. Really good fiber. Yeah, and the flavor's still there. Mm -hmm. okay. It just adds another texture to the dish. So. Okay. Um, yeah. So let's get started. Okay. You guys are ready. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So typically you would do this in a wood-fired grill, right? So what the restaurant? Yes, we would. The first first step of the process here, we normally throw these into our wood fired oven mm. to really get a super super uh, char on the outside. Oh, like, right. Mm -hmm. But you can still do this at home. Okay. You can still you can if you have a grill at home, light it up, do the same thing. Just grill them on, put them on the grill real quick, get that skin nice and charred. Okay, uh, so but we can also use an oven. Okay, great. So first thing you need to do, we're gonna clean the sweet potatoes, which I've already done here. Um, clean a little nubbies on all the ends there, mm -hmm. and then. Just so put them in a bowl. Okay. And these are not cooked yet, right? These are not cooked yet. Okay. So you're just going to bowl. We have a little bit of grapeseed oil. The reason we use grapeseed oil is that it has a really high smoke point. Okay. So mm -hmm. it can withstand. Some you know, of that not, fire. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't uh, start a fire in that really hot pizza oven that gets over almost 800 degrees. Wow. A little bit of kosher salt here. So we're just going to pass it on. A little bit of seasoning. A little flick of the wrist. I know. Little, yeah, just a little bit of flick of the wrist, right? All right. So, I'm liking it. I'm gonna put them on a cookie sheet at home, is what I would do. This is a quarter sheet tray, but any cookie sheet at home would work. Okay. So season them. They're going to here into a broiler. Okay. So oh. as high as your oven can go, as close to the flame as possible. Oh, okay. Oh, that's really so, gonna get a char on it. Right. So, anyways, these would go right in here. And they come out looking just like this. Not quite, but we're gonna do a little movie magic, so <laughs> um, those go into the broiler, just like that. Okay. And then you're just gonna rotate them every few minutes so it's even. Okay. As soon as they're done, they're gonna come out. They're gonna look a little bit like this. Oh, okay, uh -huh. nice. Right? Okay. So the f they aren't cooked all the way yet. Okay. Right? In order to finish them, you're gonna put them on a little salt bed here. Oh, what is that's that gonna a be? big salt bed. What right. kind? So the reason you're gonna do this, you're gonna draw out a lot of the moisture of the skin. Okay. So that and that's going to help it stay crispy. Interesting. Uh, so that's we've already regular table salt, or this is, is this kosher, salt. kosher little, salt. You can feel like the grains a little bit, Heavier. a little bit coarser. Not super coarse, but you can use any salt you really would like. If you had some rock salt, you want to do that too. You could do the same thing. Okay. So, anyways, these would go back into an oven. So you preheat this oven as high as it can go. Then you can turn the temperature down to 375. Okay. Mm -hmm. When it comes down, put on the, the sweet potatoes on here. Then it go right in that oven. For about 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. And then it'll just, just finish it up. cook through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. Let them cool a little bit so you can touch them, or if you want, if you need them right away, family's waiting or something. By all means, if you can withstand it, go okay. ahead. But the salt's gonna stick a little bit. That's fine. We want that little bit of uh, a little bit of salt on there. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Give it a little flavor, especially yeah. if you're gonna sure. eat the skin there. So, anyways, we're gonna take them. Right. Get on your cutting board. Uh, this recipe is going to be for uh, feed around four people, so we're doing like a half recipe here. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I say two potatoes per person. Okay. Now, yeah. if you can't find Japanese sweet potatoes, it's perfectly okay. You can use regular? Just go to the store and try to find the smallest ones possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's make sure I, they're all about the same size, so when you're cooking right. them, that they'll Absolutely. cook about the Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Same. So, after they're done cooking, so they've already they've come out of the oven now, they're fully cooked, mm -hmm. and they're cooled down a little bit, you're going to take a little peri knife. Starting about a half inch on one side, about a third of the way down. Mm -hmm. Just like you're doing a, let's say, a load of baked potato. Oh, yeah. yeah. Something like that. You gonna squeeze them? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. You already know. Yeah, break them open. Yeah. Okay, there you see? go. Get the fleshy. Part. So yeah. you can see that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're gonna push the flesh up too, mm -hmm. and then widen it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because what we're gonna do next is fill these with. Crescenza cheese. You ever Ooh. had Crescenza cheese before? No, I've never heard well, of that. Maybe, but I don't know. <laughs> so Crescenza cheese uh, is an Italian cow's milk cheese. 
also known as stracchino, which means it's tired. So it's the last milking of the cow. Okay. Oh. So this cheese is gonna be, have a little bit more acidity, so a little bit more tang. Mm -hmm. And then it's, what's really nice about it is that it holds up to melting really well. Oh, wow. So you take, it like, looks pretty thick. Yeah, because yeah, I would have yeah. thought it was mayo so think, for, like, for a it's, second. Uh, if the texture is close to like the filling of brie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then we're gonna take them, we're gonna fill these guys mm -hmm. with about an ounce or more. And let me guess, you're gonna put it back in the oven and let that, it melt. That's right. So you go back in a broiler. Oh, okay. Oh, restaurant fast. cooking is all about multiple processes, yeah. right? Oh yeah, that's why so, we go to the restaurant and do it right. yeah. sitting at home and doing but something like this. You can also easily do this at home. Yeah. And it's gonna pair well with any uh, beef. Yeah, let's talk about that. So that's a nice dishes. side dish, but these are oh, just delicious here. Can you run us down? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So let's start the left to right here. Okay. And then this, so we have brought some at a classics as we like to call them. Mm -hmm. Bubbling shrimp. Mm -hmm. So we have five pieces of uh, 1620 beautiful uh, shrimp. Shrimp that's coming from the Gulf of Mexico. Mm -hmm. What kind of sauce is that in there? So that is what we call, uh, we call the restaurant we call it shrimp butter, but mm, okay. essentially it's a Bermonte that's made with a shrimp jus, mm -hmm. a bunch of garlic, shallots, Ooh, that uh, Fresno delicious. chili, and ginger. We're almost out of time too, so I want to make sure I get through these other yeah, dishes. So, and then we have the pork tower, mm. which is, we have a secreto there. This is one thing I'm very excited yeah, Secreto, and then this is a pork short rib. These two would go together. This is called a tower on oh, our menu. Oh, that looks fun. And then these are our American Wagyu meatballs, some grilled focaccia, a little bit of um, off top and on top. Oh and we just God. had the two locations up there on the screen, so if you want to check these out. These look fantastic, Chef. Thank you so much for being yeah. here. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I love this. All, All the right. good fall mm. flavors.